Hey, welcome back. It's another live Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel. I'm Bill Jellin. Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. We're here uh, at Highline Community College and uh, doing some more fun Excel videos. This, uh, I don't even know, oh, Blunkent at YouTube uh, wants to know. He wants a formula that's going to grab the last five values, last five values uh, from each row and uh, concatenate them together into a single cell. All right, so let's see here. I'm going to do equal index, equal index of this whole row. I want the index of this whole row. Index allows me to say which row I want. Well, that's uh, easy. That's row number one because there's only one row. And then which column? Well, okay, for this one, uh, I am going to go with the count A of how many entries are there. Now, our assumption here is there can't be any blank cells in that whole thing. And what that's going to do, that's going to give me the last one. That's going to give me the last one. And from there, I want to go back four. I want to go back four. Oh, that makes my head hurt. Minus four. Uh, I wonder if there's some way that I can use column to do that, where it's going to be minus three, minus two, minus one, uh, and then zero. I suppose what I could do is minus five minus column of A1. Boy, is that going to work? I don't know. Jen? I was missing a parenthesis Jen? there. So that grabbed one, two, three, four, five. The fifth, fifth one back. Copy it across. And ten, one, one, five, four. Hey, it worked. That's cool. Let's, let's copy it down. Uh, and we'll do another one here. So this one that I should be getting nine, one, four, one, seven, nine, one, four, one, seven. Woohoo! I wish the concatenate, the concatenate function would let you uh, concatenate a whole range together. That would be a really, really good thing. I'm going to be up at Microsoft this week. Maybe I'll ask them for that. As a uh, as a Christmas present for everyone out there, ampersand because the, otherwise we have to do this whole thing, which is really tedious. Well, I didn't want the last five hundred values. One, five, four. There we go. Uh, that's what I've got, Mike. Woohoo! All right, uh, concatenate them all into one column, huh? Uh, there's an add-in where you can use uh, M concatenate or something oh, like that. Yeah. I, I wish Microsoft would. You're going to have to tell them to give that to what, us as a so Christmas present. What add-in is that? Is that the more is that more funk .dll or uh... the more funk add-in? It doesn't work in 2010 though. Uh. And I use their functions all the time. All right, let's see. Uh, I'm going to use index two. Of this array, I'm going to highlight just this um, and assume there's only that many cells. And I'm going to lock it going to the side, but not when it goes down. So that way, the dancing ants will move down a row when we move it down. And the row number. Well, I thought we were going to try and get the last one and go this way, but you're saying they want this one. Well, so that's five in. So I'm going to try the columns function. And I am, here's all the column. No, that won't work. I'm going to have to use count. And I'm assuming they're numbers. I'm going to say count. Now, that's all the columns. So if I, F4, got to lock it going to the side also. So it's going that way. And how do I automatically subtract? Oh, so right now we want this one. You can always build it backwards and then in the concatenation fix it. Aha. Well, in that case, um, how about I lock the last one like that, but not this one? Right? And so what this means is this is a this should be a contracting range because the last one is locked, but not the first one. So as it goes this way, it'll. <laughs> That's wild. That's let's beautiful. see if it works. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay, but the index, uh, the first thing in the index needs to know a row number. Um, I th uh, if it's a one way, I'm thinking if it's one way, it'll assume that the column is put in the row position. That's, uh, let's see if it works. I think that that's what help says. Four, five. On one ten, it goes backwards. That's amazing. Okay, so but I I return them in the incorrect order, so I'll have to fix that during concatenation. 
So yeah, four, eight, ten, nine, one. All right, and so then I have to go get that 10 first equals this, ampersand, double quotes, comma, space, double quotes, ampersand, and I am a bad typer. Bill Jellin, I'm always jealous when I watch you with that keyboard. But so I copied it, whoop, and I'm going to control V each time. Control V, control oh, that's V. Faster. That's beautiful. All control right. Control Enter, double click, and Five. send it down. Hey, it looks All right, it. it looks like it's working. That's sweet. That is cool. Okay, look at me. I've been doing the index wrong the whole time. I always entered uh, the one when there was only one row. Uh, we better go look at help. No, I believe you. Clearly it worked. I mean, clearly it worked. Uh, I have empirical evidence. Who, but that's only one. Who uses Excel help? Come on. <laughs> go look at help. <laughs> right. All right, well, tell that to tell that everyone at the MVP meeting. They, they still have help? Oh, my gosh, really? No, I Googled it. Okay, all right. And there was a video on YouTube, wasn't there? <laughs> Two guys <laughs> who have nothing better to do. <laughs> they argue about the best way to do things in Excel. You know, <laughs> this is pretty lame. <laughs> you get right down to it. <laughs> There's like non-Excel videos at YouTube. You know that? There are? I, apparently. My son watches them all the time. He never is watching us. There's the videos that don't have Excel on YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> actually, the truth is, in a few years, everything will be at YouTube. Or actually, everything's at YouTube now. I think, isn't it? Right. Yeah, right. So you, you were the first Excel guy there, so you're leading the pack. Leading the pack, yeah, that's right. And what, 1,250 videos, and I didn't don't know how Index works until today. <laughs> All right. Um, that's it, isn't it? Uh, I guess so. And I, until the next duel. That's right. I want to thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel and... Excel is fun. Woohoo!